This is Josh Friedman in Mid Center Dar es Salaam. I am on a rooftop overlooking the city center in what is known as the Karyako district. There is a pretty famous market down on the ground level called Karyako, but you don't have a view of that. What you do have a view is the Dar es Salaam skyline, and in particularly there are a few buildings behind me that I'll point out. The two turquoise-ish ones are the Twin Towers. They are a pair of commercial skyscrapers, and the blue one right next to them is the Tanzanian Port Authority building. It's all pretty recent construction, and it's a very fitting view to take a look at, given that the projection is Dar es Salaam is going to be one of the world's largest cities by the year 2100 and the projection is quite astounding so right now there are about 5 million people living in this city which is Tanzania's largest albeit it's not the capital anymore but the projection is that by the year 2100 there's supposed to be around 75 million people living in Dar es Salaam and I've read that figure and checked it I can't verify whether that's going to be the case obviously it's just a projection but it's starting to make some sense to me and particularly this view I have on this rooftop is helping me get some understanding of that so as I've been spending some time in the city I've for the most part until now been outside of the city center predominantly on the peninsula area which I showed you a little bit of in the previous video on this channel. Anyway, I did see a lot of open space, a lot of undeveloped land, so there's certainly room for growth here. But it just didn't make any sense to me why and how is there going to be so much growth that there will be 75 million or so people living here. And, well, I mean, this, this video isn't going to explain it all, and hopefully I'll get some more of an understanding, some more perspective on this over the course of my stay here in the city center. But let's take a look at what we can. I unfortunately don't have the best view, and I need to be careful up here. It's supposedly a little unfinished tile, that is, that I'm standing on. I can't tell if, if you can see, but... Anyway, just on the top of this rooftop straight ahead is the main commercial port. There's a lot of shipping traffic here. There's the ferry going back and forth between here and Zanzibar, which is commonly used by tourists. But the commercial port is very much overlooked by the people visiting here. And this commercial port has a lot to do with why the city is growing and definitely its growth potential so whereas once upon a time Zanzibar as we've discussed while I was over there Zanzibar was a, a shipping and trading hub off the east coast of Africa in the Indian Ocean well now in a sense that hub that place for exchange of goods of the, the eastern side of the Indian Ocean, it's kind of shifted over from Zanzibar to here. There's the, the spice trade is long gone now. There are other products. I'm, I'm hearing that there's some, there's, there are a lot of minerals that are being brought here and then shipped off to other countries. I need to look into this. This is all kind of new to me. It's my, my first day here in the city center. But anyway, uh, so I'm, I'm hearing a, a variety of things from just speaking with a hotel worker who was gracious enough to, to uh, show me the view and give me a little background information. And so I've been hearing over the course of my stay that not only have people from Tanzanian villages been pouring into Dar, but also people from 
other countries, some neighboring African countries and elsewhere around the Indian Ocean, which also kind of reminds me of Zanzibar. You may recall that in Zanzibar, there's a history of Arabs and basically Indian migrants arriving there and staying there over the course of centuries. And there might be a similar dynamic going on here because there are not only the goods going out from the port, but there are also goods coming in. And what I'm hearing is that for people in some neighboring African countries, it's cheaper for them to come to Dar and buy the goods when they arrive at the port than to purchase them in their home countries. And then on top of that, there's, there's obviously a, a lot of population growth coming from people having kids and people moving from other areas of Tanzania to here so still I don't know <laughs> how it's gonna grow into a, a city of, of 75 million people and I'm still gonna continue trying to explore that and get answers over the course of my stay here in the city center but getting a look at this skyline in the port by the way it was being explained to me that this is largely a, a commercial area that you're seeing over here there are some hotels mixed in and i'll show you the the Karyako market side although you can't see the market from here the sun's setting and it's a bit cloudy but kind of a nice view nonetheless nice sky in my opinion so I was being told that there are, there are a lot of hotels around here, but it's, it's largely commercial development over here. So if there's, if there's booming growth in Africa, if people are having lots and lots of babies and trade is opening up and expanding, also discussed in Zanzibar how the mainland is now the, the center of, of the economic activity when you're looking at both Zanzibar and the mainland that Zanzibar is now basically a tourist area but nonetheless uh, <laughs> I've got a lot more exploring to do upcoming video get into a bit of the history about how Dar es Salaam was founded. It's not that old of a city and it's very much connected to Zanzibar how this city was founded but I'm starting to see potential for major economic growth here and quite clearly the population is already growing. It's already, I, I forgot if I mentioned that it was One of the figures I've seen currently the ninth fastest growing city in the entire world so the, the population's already booming it's only around five million now but it used to be much lower than that so this is your first this is my first look at the Dar es Salaam skyline at least from a decent vantage point I've been enjoying the view I hope you enjoyed the view and some of the related information more to come from this soon to be mega city, so stay tuned and asante sana. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.